Hey guys, King Mitch here. Um, today I'm going to be teaching you the Hello Neighbor theme I did about three, two months ago. I don't really remember, it was a while ago. Um, someone asked for a tutorial of this and I said, yeah, sure, it'll be coming soon. Never got round to it. I was a bit busy. Um, busy. Um, also a big <laughs> procrastinator. But I'm here. Let's just do it. So I'll just do a run through and then I'll do the tutorial. So. So that's the first part I'll teach you, and then we'll get on to the second part, which is the other part of the song, or a different song from that game, um, later on in the video. So first what you want to do is you want to strum the top E string on the third fret, just, well not strum, more like pluck, I think pluck pick, just, that's it. That's the easiest thing, just. And then you want to play G open string and then B open string. Sorry, my guitar sounds a little bit out of tune, or at least it sounds to me. So, open string, open string. So, top E third fret, open string G, open string B. And you do that about four times. But every time you hit this, either softer or harder. So on the second time you hit it hard, on the third time you hit it a bit softer, and then the fourth time it's more of a, just a glide. But it's the same thing with the open string on the G and B. So. That's one. So, something I did forget to just say, um, on the second time or fourth time, um, instead of going G, B, you're going to go B, G. So first time it's G, B, second time, B, G, and third time, G, B, B, G. So... It kind of alternates with the B and the G, but the third fret E is just the same. That's so. That's exactly the same. So. And then the next part of that was it goes the. So that part, it's D string, fifth fret, fifth fret, fifth fret, fourth fret, and to the second fret, and then you do the open G and B, and then A string, second fret, slide to the fifth, and then back to the third fret E. And then same as last time, B, G. Um, me, when I'm talking, it sounds really confusing, but hopefully you're understanding. So once again, third, uh, not third, fourth string, because it goes up and sit down. Um, fourth string, fifth, fourth, second, G, B. Fifth string, second, four, fifth. And then... And the, that first part of the song, or that one song, it just repeats, so it goes. And obviously you can improvise. 
always like that sounded horrible and now we'll go on to the second part of the song or the other part of the game which has like two songs I think it's the So this one is as same as this, really easy, but it's just higher up. And so it's on the G string. It's only on two strings, it's the G and the D. The G and the D string, so. same as like this one it repeats so you have G string 12th fret pluck twice and then 11th fret on the G string and then on the D string it's the 9th fret and you just strum until you think it's time to restart so So G12, G11, D9, um, and then on the second time you put them both together, so kind of like that, so you're holding them both down. And on the fourth time you do the same thing. But instead of holding that down and strumming, you go from 10, slide to 12, and then back to 9, sorry, not 10. You slide from 9, 9, to 12, back to 9. So I'll say that again. So on the fourth time, you do the same thing, but instead of... You slide from 9 to 12, back to 9. So. technically both the songs they're really easy to learn um hopefully me speaking or explaining wasn't really difficult um for me it sounds like i'm being really difficult saying like put this here and then that but i'm pretty sure this ain't difficult to learn and if you guys didn't do get it or understand you can just Tell me in the comments, I'll make another one with like a different ca camera angle. Maybe I'll have it like this or something, just so you can like see where I'm strumming and hitting the notes. Just so it's not all over the place. But yeah, that's it. Uh, see you in the next one. Bye.